Wow. Like that. These might be and the most like, athletic right, Amish person really I've ever seen in my bro. life. <laughs> Jam one, pull. Get up, get up. Oh! Big three. Huh? Big three. Oh, shit. I'd foul out. <laughs> Fry like that. Up there, I was looking at it. That's hard to time. Yeah. Oh. Just getting warmed up. <laughs> oh. Well, so I saw Steve doing a bunch of these, and he would always I'm watching YouTube. My boy Steven Stone. He'd always be like hanging out over here, and then throw it up, then come from this angle. Look at that. Right there, bro. Just fucking yam it. Just fucking murder it. Just yam it with some marshmallow. <laughs> Getting warmed up. Oh! Let, let's go! Oh, it's eight feet. <laughs> what height is that? Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. It's like for the longest time I couldn't figure out how to do that, like to come in. That feels like I, I, I hit like like five of those in a row almost. That's crazy talk. It's crazy talk, Trey. You about to eat your fucking trying to hit my buddy at half court. It's just been a while. <laughs> I like that. Let's see if we can make some of these around nine, huh? Yeah. Is that what we went to last time, straight to nine? Yeah, that's what I thought. That was probably like right at eight. That timing gets so much more difficult at nine. Well, and also, this might not have enough area for that. This is all kind of new I with these. Bouncy. Yeah, I like what it. What week is this for you guys? Four. That's pretty good. Yeah, we look quite a bit different. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. I'm trying to go something special. I, I hear it in your stutters. What, uh, where do you want to scale from here? Um, do you want to go up a little higher with the ball and try to make, or do you want to go uh, verticals with the uh, ankle weights? Let's hit, uh, let me hit one more punch. Punch it, Part dude. here. I got you. Let's go. Punch it. I'm gonna follow it. Come on. Okay. I literally hit right there off the rim. That's it. Ooh. That's probably like nine two ish. Hey, cool. Later. Have fun jumping. Oh, cool. Hey, your beard's looking good. Uh, it's looking a little longer from my feet. I know. I got some new shampoo. Oh, fuck, dude. Come on. That's because you're cupping it. I know. <laughs> but I'm getting high enough. You're getting really high enough. You look bouncy right here, bro. Also, it fucking kills your elbow when you jam that shit off the front. Wait, of the you rim jam yourself? Yeah, it hurts. I, I dunked uh, last time around. I dunked that like ball like that at the office at nine six off one foot actually. That is a long time ago. Ball higher and higher is good. Oh, yeah. Man, you're high. 
height of your loop. Yeah, you're getting up there. So though. what you got to do, Trevway, is get it to where you throw it in. So the you see what I'm saying? It's that last like when it gets higher, you got to go up a little bit higher with the ball in your hand. That's where it fucks you. Thought about it too much. Ooh, okay. Because this was like an intricate part last time where we didn't waste our reps. Then we got to work, and then we was able to work up higher. That warm up was good. I feel so bouncy. I didn't warm up at all. Yeah, dude, punching that ball at those heights like nine four, that shit felt easy. <laughs> Heavier ones up to try to get a max. Then go lighter ones for the first approaches, then drop them off. All right. So we got the twos and the fours. Got them off off of uh, Amazon. So me and Troy can both have them, and they're just easier to put on and off, unlike those other ones we had, which were terrible. These ones should be smooth. We'll do some vertical work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, these are way nicer. Thanks, uh, Fitness Surrey. Brought to you by Fitness Surrey. Not really, but. So, I like to do the first couple approaches. We get like three steps with the lighter one, so we'll deload and then deload to nothing and see what happens. The shit feels even too. Which is good. <laughs> the other ones were like loose, weren't they? Yeah, loose and just awkward. So, it's a bigger ball, huh? So, you just don't work. Yeah, it's good. Bounce, 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 bounce. Ooh, it's a paw. Too bad I can't do that with a real ball. That mini progress, even with that like girls ball, bro. Yes. It's real. Man, what? Ooh. He might be the rim jam king. We gotta make that because we're gonna make it nine six, bro. There it is. Nice. That ball's not there. Nicely done. Alright, here's the one that's eluded us two weeks in a row. But not today. Not today, Treadway. You okay? Not today. Because the bounce is real, boy. You're about to smoke this first time. Oh! Talking shit! Oh, what? What? It's that rim job, bro. Again. Fuck. Shouldn't have talked so much shit. 9 4 vote. Easy. Yeah. Treadway gonna beat me? Oh! Nope. What the fuck is wrong with us? I don't know. <laughs> that one was better. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh. Oh. Man. I got it over top, but I couldn't beat it couldn't down. It Fuck. It looks so low. I know, it's a good thing though. Make this fucker. All right, don't waste it. I will say my feet feel real heavy right now. Yeah, I know they do. And it's even too. You know what I mean? Like the other one was not very good. <laughs> I felt like I was kind of floating. Because you were. I worked. Yeah. Fucking easy. Dude, I Yeah. We're going to push this one today. 9 6. Yeah, that's 9 6. I felt good. I felt like I was floating. Yeah, okay. Bro. You just missed. It was your timing. You jumped way too far back. Push hard on the ground. Push away. Come on. Come on now. There it is. Dude, it's all timing. Yeah, I felt it like much better. All time. Hey, you want to try to make 9 8? Yep. Please? Yeah. I thought you were getting back and off with the reps. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that, huh? Man, what? I ain't talking shit this time. I'm just going to do it. Oh, yeah. 
Yep. Oh! Bro, you did that little fucking butter kick and you just floated. Man, what? Ha! Look like a young Vince Carter. Again, I feel like I'm jumping either too far under or too far back. Good. Come on. Yes. Oh, don't waste them though. Where are you doing your reps at? Here. That was the plan. Because we did 9-7 last week. It's real though when you take even those twos off. It's all about time. All about time. Ooh. I had it in the Put rim it and, and, and trapped it. Let's go, Joe. Oh, there it was. That was better. Take a little breather. Let me get a couple and come back at you. Make sure also, like I was watching from Steve, is. Keep your head up, chest up. A lot of times we go to get our power and we go like this yeah. instead of looking where we're going. That's helped me a ton. That was easy. I'm just sitting it on the front of the fucking rim. You're fine. I'm trying not to think about it. Just be an athlete. Come on. Get up. Stare at the rim and fucking go get it. There it is. That one, you, that one the jump looked good, but you was too far away. Sure. There it is. That was a better spot. Way better. I feel like I'm there each time. I'm gonna try to do one of these numbers right here. My approach was completely different holding the ball like that. I didn't like that. Going inside, I think it's gonna change everything, to be honest. You gotta make this, bro, come on. Come on, jump, bro. That one was the one, that's what you've been doing. Too far out. That's why I originally jumped from the side because I could see it just in space and I would get up underneath of it almost. That's why originally I did that. That's a better jump. Oh my God, we'll call it nine. I'll, I'll go eight, eight to 10. Let me get one more. So we'll call it 10. That's good for the volume. This height. Smash one G. I think my first couple, though, I could have made. I could have made probably nine ten. I mean, I, that one pump might be pretty legit. Where are you at now? Nine six. Nine six. Figure you can get some. You, just get some, you need some, you just need practice, bro, bro your timing. What's weird is, I feel like I need to jump twice a week. One time for like max effort, one time for, just to get the timing down. I mean, I made the number, but half as much as I wanted. Yo, yo, CoreyGFitness.com members. Jump Bros, episode four, highly anticipated, never duplicated, often imitated. I got my Amish brother right here, Tyler Treadway. What up, what up? Gotta get closer to the mic, bearded one. What up? There what up? you go. Just move that, just move that thing up. So, Treadway, last week... We did, I, I thought last week was a little bit of a breakthrough week. Yeah. 
was feeling real good about this week. I was fucked up last week, but still jumped okay. You jumped okay. It's amazing. We go up one inch. Both of us felt pretty good. I got to say the lower rims felt real good. Oh, yeah, for sure. The Better than they have the whole time. Best it's ever felt. Once we rolled it up a little bit, both of us, I got, I made the dunks. You had some struggles, some struggles with the dunks, but neither of them really felt that good. No. But why did the other stuff feel so good? Though? It felt like real good. I don't know. It was it was really weird because the lower rim stuff felt great, and I felt like I was jumping really well. My timing with those lob dunks was crazy. We were, I mean, it, that was the best we've ever looked at a low rim, still using a ball. Yeah, agreed. And then we go up, and we just couldn't. I couldn't flush it through. The timing was messing me up. And we got to figure that timing out for you. Maybe you need to do that other day a week of just one stop and pop, bro. Yeah. Do you have anywhere you can go out on your side of town? Yeah, for sure. That that might help you a ton. Yeah, I think. If you start wasting it, reps where you're not there, that's it's frustrating. Yeah, and it gets it gets in your head. And then I was it, like. I was mentally shut off because then I dropped it back even to nine four trying to pump a ball like we were doing earlier easy, mm -hmm. and my timing was just all out of whack. I couldn't grab the ball correctly. It was just, it was rough. Um, the the ankle weight still felt good. Yeah, for sure. I don't feel like that's messing us up. Do you? No. The only thing I think maybe I would do different is take a couple more reps at each one. Yeah, we just went confident. one one one. I like that. Once again, more yeah. volume. Yeah, because. Really, at nine eight, you were you were punching it hard. I made it with ankle weights on. Yeah, which is pretty fucking solid. Yeah, I felt like I got up there. I just couldn't punch the ball through. But maybe I guess I forgot I made that first one with the ankle weights on. Yeah, maybe just take a couple more with the ankle weights at the lower rim height and just get in that groove. So that way, because really, if you look at the jump we made, we only took what two or three jumps between like. Nine four and nine eight. We might have rushed it a little bit. Yeah, maybe take a little bit more time and get in that groove. And did we do a better down. job of that last week? You think? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it started feeling good, and we once again we, we know we're going it. higher, so we rolled up. Yeah, yeah, that's probably right. So I mean, but that's part of part of us figuring it out. Mm -hmm. We probably needed more warm up at higher rims, even though we were making the ball at higher rims. Like I was oh, yeah. making it nine, nine two, nine four, even right. Yep. Pretty easy. Yeah. Real <laughs> easy. I just think that we need more volume to kind of groove everything. Um, it's kind of, you know, when you squat, you never go 135 for eight and then 225 for one. Well, I don't for know. One. We kind of do in our system well, sometimes. We, <laughs> we do because we rush it. But yeah. then with this, this is a new, a new thing. It's yeah. kind of hard to rush it. You know, maybe down the road we get to a point where it's like, okay, we'll take one jump at at each height but now yeah. we need a couple reps at each height just to yeah. kind of feel it and and groove it and then you know go up to that 98 because 98 felt felt good for the well, most yeah. part wasn't i mean i'm not upset upset i think i'm upset that in the gather i could feel some discomfort yeah last week i felt none and i was thinking about this though i haven't taken ibuprofen in a really long time I might have I took it because my back was hurting so bad last week. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that had something to do with why I had zero knee discomfort. Yeah. Because and and I wouldn't want to rely on that. But the more I was thinking about it, that could have been why I felt like that. That's interesting. Because I probably had no inflammation at all. Yeah. Because all in my body was just so concerned about my SI, yeah. it was like fuck all this. Yeah. So that could be part of it too. That's interesting. I haven't taken ibuprofen in forever, but I I'll, I'll try that. But maybe see. before we jump. Or because what I don't want to do is take it right after. Yeah. Because I need to know where my you need knees are really at, are at, and I don't want to rely on it. But, I, you know, maybe maybe I'll give that a try next week just to see. Yeah. No, I think that's smart because I need to feel as weird as it saying as weird as it sounds to say I need to feel the pain for like the next couple hours. Yep. And see what hurts. I agree. To know what I need to focus on to strengthen. Because, like, last week my hips were tight, and I focused on those a little bit. And then today it's like when I'm coming in from an angle and I'm getting ready to pop and that energy transfer, my it just stops in my hips. I feel like I got no pop in my glutes. Yeah, and at them lower rims, you always got crazy. It looks like you got crazy pop. I think it's just because uh, I have a decent amount of athleticism, so yeah. I can make it look easy at the lower height. But then when I get higher, and you gotta I got to recruit more work. And it just doesn't work. That makes sense. You know what's so crazy is when I when I 
I saw Steven Selly do that different angle. Yeah. It made all what I made like five of those, it, it made and it, it was smooth, which makes me think I'll be able to do that at higher rims. I know it. I just need I just need to keep working on that stuff. Once again, it's about and we probably should look at this even too. I'll look on a calendar to see what what the timing is till September. I mean, we're in what ju- end of July, yeah. so we have all of August and about half of September. We probably might need a like deload day somewhere where we just stay at eight and a half and just have a fucking blast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like maybe we look at that too, like from a strategy standpoint. Yeah. Because this is week four. Yes, yeah, week. Four. I mean, I think we made a lot of progress in four weeks. Oh yeah, for sure. And everything feels good. Like my knees feel great. Yeah. My hips are starting to get a little, a little janky, and that's where I'm losing my power. Yep. Because my glutes aren't getting re- like the first couple of weeks. Like even last week, I felt like my glutes. I was exploding off the ground. You, you made a comment, and you're like, push off the, into the ground, push off. Yep. Last week it was easy. This just week like I- leg pressing the floor, like we talk about with deadlift, and you got to put your energy into it. I'm, I'm starting to do a better job of that too. Yeah, and I just couldn't. I didn't feel that today. It was weird, though, because this is the first week on the new Get Stacked program. That's true, so too. I don't know Some if, shit's going to be a little bit more tired. Yeah. That's true. That's real. Because we did more volume on Monday. My back was there. tired on Monday, too, bro. And or on we, Tuesday, I'm sorry. Dude, that back workout was fucking tough. Honestly. And today was a little bit more of a chip shot. It wasn't as bad. But still, like, I agree. I was more tired bodily this week because of the new training, too. That volume on Tuesday was just yeah, it was was real. insane. Yeah, that's probably real. I mean, we got to take all that into consideration. Yeah. No question. Um, and then yesterday being the squat day, but I felt good. Like, yeah. I felt good coming into today. Like I said, on the way down, I felt bouncy. And then at the lower rims, I felt great. I think the reality is I have to weigh 180. Yeah. I just think it's the fucking truth. I think for being as old and having the I, – I just think that uh, – you know, I was like, oh, I fucking feel diesel. Yeah. I'll get away with it. Yeah. I think it's just like uh, – what's that? Uh, inertia. Yeah. I think it's just a fucking reality. Physics. It's just physics. Yeah. yeah. Reality is I know last time I weighed uh 180, I could get, and I my knees didn't feel near as the last time I got where I was able to dunk like at that little ball at 10, which was, you know, right after I got hurt, my knees are still trash though, and they feel way different now. So I know the result will be a lot different. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I was talking to Todd last week a little bit and he was like, "Dude, if you lost 10 pounds, you'd be sky and easy." No question. And I was like, yeah, so I was down about a pound and a half from last week. Okay. Um, you going to start monitoring that a little bit? Yeah. I mean, especially if we have, like, a legit designated goal. I'll get the weeks to the point and, and try to say, like, you know, so we can kind of start to strategize a little bit more and try to find a place we can go indoors. Yeah. You know, for that day. Yeah. I think if I drop down, like, maybe, like, 98, I'll be good. Oh, all day. I was, like, 204 today. Yeah, even five pounds will make a big difference, I'm sure. I mean, I'm telling you, I could tell a huge difference in five pounds. Well, you get, you gained two pounds from last week. Yeah. You said you felt I a felt huge it. difference. I, the only reason I was able, able to make 9.8 is because I was making the shit last week, like, really easy. Do you think it was – you think you feel it more on the landing or the, the takeoff? Takeoff? Yeah. I mean, it probably the soreness comes from the landing, I bet you. Yeah. And I don't practice landing, which I've been reading more about. I probably should. Yeah. Like some depth jumps, but just land, mm-hmm. even on that wrestling mat at the gym. But I definitely think it's in my mind when the height goes up, I know I have to force more into the ground. Like I'm physically pushing harder, and that's where that little discomfort comes from. Yeah. And it's weird, too, because the higher we go – the more technical it gets. Oh, no question. Definitely. Like, cause we're, you know, just kind of in the ballpark right now. That that's all, so we have to be technically sound. Yeah. It, it's, it's just like lifting. Um, yeah. when you get, I mean, nobody benches like 400 pounds by accident. No, nobody dunks a basketball by accident. We got, like you said, keep your chest up. That's made a huge eyes difference. Eyes on the rim, chest up, huge difference in attack in that timing. That's what I just can't. The timing and that little flutter I got, which I even did with ankle weights on once. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to watch that that dunk because I think 9.8 with two-pound ankle weights, you that, smoked it. that's pretty solid. Yeah, absolutely. Better than I expected. Yeah, because if you think about it, if we're outdoors, you know, 9.10 is really what, what you're looking I at. I think so. I, I believe that 100%. I'd love to go indoors on something like because Steve has a couple of them gyms they're like nine 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 ten mm-hmm. we should probably check out like what lifetime is bro I think they're set at like nine ten I say fuck it yeah. I wonder if we could just roll in with like some of our own shit and just work on it 
Oh, yeah, for sure. I've never been to one. I've only been to one of them gyms, like, once. I've never been to one, but I would assume that, I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. Like, if we take, like, a backpack in and just take, like, the, like the couple kickballs and shit, it'd Mathieu, be kind of dope. Zach used to work at one. Oh, yeah. We could ask him. I'll ask him. See, see yeah, because it'd be cool to go inside on location. Yeah, We might sure. have trouble taping it. I don't know. They don't know how it works. In there. Yeah. Interesting. Um. All right, so what are we changing for next week? Treadway. I think we need to get more volume at each height when we do. Don't rush just to get to that height. Yep. That's what we did week one. We just rushed to get to where we wanted to. Yeah, and our longevity wasn't near as good today as it was last. Last week was awesome. Last week we could jump forever. That's how it felt, too. I felt like I shut it down like just because I was getting tired, not because yeah. I was hurting. Right, and this week was a little bit different. I started to feel like I just didn't have anything Yeah. this week. So I wonder what part of the scales where we need it. Is it right when we start doing the verticals? Yeah. Yeah. We need to do more at each rim height. Like do like 10 at 9 feet or something, you think? Yeah, or keep five. The, keep the total volume the same. Yeah. But like I think if we go, so so we started like 9-4, nine, 9-5. Nine, mm -hmm. We take 10 reps there, and then you take 9-6, you take 5-6 reps, and then you take like 4-5 really good reps at 9-8, mm -hmm. and then shut it down. Yep. Don't get shut down. Yeah, I like it. All right. Yeah. Where do they find you on Instagram, Tyler? At Treadway21. You got to follow this dude. I mean. It's, it's worth it. <laughs> it is worth it. All right, Jump Bros, episode four. Merch is coming soon. We out. Peace. <laughs>